G'day viewers, well I'm going to fix this amplifier today. We've got the FETs, just arrived in the mail today. Got a 5. So yeah, that's a pretty good bargain for 5. So, 1, 2, that one there I did test and it is bad. That one there tested fine, so hopefully that one is right. So a lot of soldering irons warming up. Go and remove that one, put these in. Everything else seemed to be fine, so hopefully that's all that's um, gone wrong. So I just if I put these in, it should work. So I put the fuse in so we can know if it's working because the original fuse has popped. It's got the same um, capacitors on it. It looked to be good quality by the looks of the, um, the, looks of the shrink wrap that's on them. All these miniature circuits under here are fine, they didn't get damaged or anything, so that's good. The only thing I don't have is flux remover, so after I solder it, it's going to have all this flux crap all over the board. Bit of a pain, but got everything I need. Got the heat, heat, uh, heat set compound. And while that's warming up, I get everything ready. So, yeah. Alright. Let's get set up. Okay, if yours are all soldered in, let's give this thing a very assemble and give it a test. Hopefully, she'll work. It's very difficult to solder with a cheap automotive soldering on, it has a flat tip like this. It's very difficult. So, it's very hard to solder with something like that. But Oh, let's put these little things back on. Now these never had heat sink stuff on them. I did put plenty of heat sink paste back on there, so it goes that way. There we go. There is plenty of heat sink paste on that, so it's all squirting out, that's good. Better, better screw it over there. Now the other one's here. Oh, screw fell off. Hang on, girl, uh, get the final right screw again. Hey viewers, I'm ready to reinstall this back in its original so-called chassis or heat sink. Bit hard to clean at an angle like this with a lag, but yeah, meth lot of spirits did an alright job. Haven't got any proper isopropanol or like that proper cleaner anyway, but I feel that spirit starts to drop. Alright, now I'm trying to find which way it goes. The big sink went that way, the little one goes this way, so that goes here. So, yeah, let's put it back together and screw it down and test it. Okay, viewers, this thing should be ready to test now. Batch is hooked up. 20 amp battery charger, switched on 12 volts. Just better double check that, make sure it's not on 24, it's on 12. The output's on, ready to turn on, it's off at the moment. Channel 1 and 2 input, so I'm just going to use this as a source. Two 220 watt crappy Soundtrack speakers. The tweet is blue, so they're only they really just woofers, which sound like crap. But yeah, that's all how it hooks up. Channel 1, channel 2. Alright, now I've got to see. I'll turn the radio on. I'm going to put shortwave, I'm going to put some music on here. Let's try. Someone's got a good. There you go, has got a good signal. Right. 
Okay, well, hmm, let's check something here. Okay, there was I tested this thing, and puff of smoke, I went, oh no, don't tell me. So I tested these, my new ones were fine, thankfully they didn't blow, but it was this one that's stuffed. So I should have known that one here was stuffed, so I'm going to replace that one, that's, yeah. Looked the same as this, looked fine, but the legs are corroded. That one is actually popped, so. Luckily I bought a pack of five. So I'm going to replace that, that's the original one, so. Should have changed it, I knew I should have changed it anyway. Got plenty more to spare, so I'll replace that one there. Give it a good inspection, and then give it a one more test and see how she goes. So while the soldering iron's warming up, I get everything ready again. Just going to take that one off and replace it. Now I'm using a 20 amp instead of a 25 amp fuse and replace this with a circuit breaker. 20 amp auto reset circuit breaker just for test purposes. So hopefully nothing else is damaging this thing. It's a problem with these and things like this pop. Be anywhere in the circuit that something else could have got damaged but you just Physical looks fine, but you just don't know what. So I'm just going to keep change up my there and see how it goes. That seems to be the only thing that went pop, so everything else tested fine, so that one is going to be changed. So, well, that's. Let's get everything ready. Okay, the as well, you went, one thing you want to make replacing these, make sure the mica sheet, uh, the mylar sheets, when you're cleaning them, they um, be very careful because they'll break easy, they're brutal. But yeah, and they're the four MOSFETs I've replaced. Hopefully it should work, but I don't know. So yeah, let's put this in the and give it one more test. Well, the oils have got me a low voltage power, low, low current power source, for a vector fried. 18 volts are no load, but the voltage does drop considerably with load, so it's only a pissy little 12 volt. Half an amp, I think. Yeah, 500 milliamp chance for myself. Let's see if this works. No light. No output, so we've got something still wrong with this damn thing. The light's not coming on. So there's still something wrong with this thing, so I'm gonna have to do some more troubleshooting on this, so. This I'm um, making a little bit of a humming noise from the um, power supply, but something's getting power. We'll have to do some more testing on this fuel, so for now, thanks for watching.